So we've arrived, and I'm spinning you around. I'll, I'll show you why in a minute. But we've arrived at Southern Sky Motor Cars. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London, and another fantastic day in the British summer. It is expected to rain from now until about eight o'clock tonight, which is, you just can't ask for anything better during August. I am feeling amazing. I don't, I don't care what the weather is. I'm feeling really, really good. And I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog and have been enjoying the whole week's vlog. I've got some really cool videos planned this weekend to film, not just the daily vlogs. I need to edit the BMW i8 review that I filmed on the day that I gave it back. And I'm headed over to SB now very, very quickly. I've already edited yesterday's vlog, the Samsung video. That's uploading at the moment to YouTube. I am really excited to go over to SB because a package has arrived. Right, I've made it to SB. Look at that red C63 down there as well. It's not it's nothing to do with SB. And here's the package. And, uh... <laughs> so, oh, nope. That's not how you lift it out. Here it is. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. That is heavy. So, how does it work? How does it work? It looks like it's, uh, oh, there's some buttons. I don't think it's on. Oh, I'm on it. Let's go this way. Quick, quick pit stop um, at SB. I didn't manage to get too much done, uh, although I did film the segboard. And you know what? On carpet, it's a lot easier than on the on the pavement that I was doing it first in London. So the annoying thing is, I think I'm going to have to film. Um, I might go and film outside SB, you know, throughout the weekend. I might just go and film at SB, get good at it, see whether I can do any tricks. Anyway, we're en route to Southern Sky Motor Cars. That's the place that I'm headed at the moment, which is just outside of Horsham. And I'm following my sat -nav at the moment. Basically, they've got two Gallardo LP560-4 Bicolores. It was a special edition Lamborghini where they just put a black roof on the car and that was it. Like, it's not the best special edition car, but that's where I'm leaning at the moment. Like, maybe six months ago, I was leaning towards the Mercy Largo, but as people have been telling me their stories of owning one, the running costs, you could you could spend its value in two years of running a car, the Mercy Largo, and it costs 150 grand. Like, if you don't treat it well, or you've just got a bad example, you could spend as much as 50 grand a year just to run it. That's how bad it is. They told me it will bankrupt me. The Mercialago will bankrupt me. So that's why I'm leaning towards a special edition Gallardo that's a little bit special, obviously, rare, gonna hold its value well. Um, and that's why I was looking at the 50th anniversary. There's only 100, there's only 250 big glories. And obviously the Balboni is still up there as one of my favorite Gallardos ever. So we've arrived and I'm spinning you around. I'll, I'll show you why in a minute, but we've arrived at Southern Sky Motor Cars. This is what you're on thing here. And I've just spent the last sort of hour or so in here. I've come to get the camera now um, in this beautiful like barn conversion. Check this out, guys. So this is where I am, Southern Sky. And as you can see right at the front, there is some cars of interest. And basically, I've come across these guys on Instagram. They tagged me in a picture um, of their Bicolori, this one here, and said, how does this tickle your fancy? Now, this car here is 2011, done 9,000 miles. And this one there is exactly the same, six months newer, um, and has only done 2,000 miles and is a one owner car. Obviously, there's slight difference in price. Um, oh, look, another Porsche Turbo has turned up. But let me know what you think of this. As you can see, it's a Bicolori black, 
with white special edition LP560-4 so this is a four-wheel drive version it's not two-wheel drive it's got the really really cool Mark 1 Superleggera wheels and the inside is mint absolutely mint for a 9,000 mile car the leather is perfect. I'm still umming and ahhing about how I'm going to do um, this series, the Lamborghini Dream. As you can see, I'm actually now coming down and checking these cars out just to sort of get a feel for the market, get a feel for these cars that are for sale on Auto Trader and Piston Heads. And it's typical. I've been here an hour and it's been really quiet, and now two customers arrived. But um, I've never known to this place. It's just um, outside of Horsham, I think. But they've got two exactly the same Lamborghini LP560 Gallardo Bicolori editions. Um, and as you can see, we've got some buttons down here, the center console. What do you reckon to this as my second supercar? The one or the two things that I'd have to say about this car is one, it's four wheel drive. I think the special editions are slightly better when they're two wheel drive. And also, I'm not sure, I think the seats could be the quilted. I'm not sure whether you've seen the quilted, but the quilted's really cool. And obviously in the Balboni, you've got the white center console and the white stripe down the middle. So this is definitely um, an option. but really, really cool. But they've just got loads of cool stuff in, R8 V10, V8. This is actually a really, really cool looking car. This is an Audi TT RS, all blacked out. And I just think it looks really cool. Manual, really, really cool. Oh, look at that, carbon fiber. So three hours later, I'm still here and uh, they're manoeuvring some cars about. It's a shame that it's raining. Basically, they need to like get a car out and move it about. Um, so the Lambos have come out in the wet, which um, I think they've all been detailed, so they're gonna have to get detailed again, but it's good to see them out. How good does that look? Or do you prefer that? I've got the nose lift up. Mm -hmm. See you later. I just wound the window down. The weather. It's horrendous. Oh, how'd you get out? Is it electric gates? I hope so. Yes, electric gates, thank God, phew. Anyway, the whole point of me going down there obviously was to check out the cars that they've got in stock. And hopefully now you'll be aware that I'm actively trying to go out there and speed the process up of my second supercar. It's taken long enough. Well, the guys down there are awesome. I've spent the whole afternoon there, so that kind of proves. I've never met them before, and I've spent the whole afternoon there. Very welcoming and uh, a really, really nice bunch of guys. Massive car enthusiasts, so it's always good to be with like-minded people when it comes to cars. So let's take a quick summary of the Lamborghini LP560-4 Bicolori. And like, I'll try and give you like my whole trail of thought as well, because Obviously, I don't want to keep a secret from you guys. This is a busy road. It's all about you're just as involved as I am in the journey of my second supercar. So they've got two Lamborghini LP560-4 Bicoloris there. The Bicolori stands for the two-tone, the black roof and the color underneath, and both of theirs are white. You can get orange, yellow, gray, blue, and white. So there's five colors. and. It wasn't the best special edition that Lamborghini created. I, like, I'll be completely honest, it wasn't the best. It had two cars there, one slightly newer than the other, one slightly less miles than the other. Uh, both very, very, very nice examples. And it's really got me thinking now, the special edition Gallardo, like I mentioned previously in the vlog, if it wasn't, if, um, if it wasn't in the vlog previously, it means I cut it whilst I was on the motorway. But anyway, those cars are one, more reliable, two, a lot more affordable than the Murcielago. Yes, the Murcielago is a dream car, but a Lamborghini in general is my dream car. The Murcielago LP640 is the dream one that I filmed in London. But if you want to start thinking about tires, four grand, clutch, 12 grand, exhaust system, seven grand, and then the running costs of that thing, the clutch goes every 4,000 miles. Like, it's bizarre, it's just stupid. Right guys, as you can tell from the lighting, I am on my way home now. I spent some time in Surrey, uh, catching up with my brother and his girlfriend. They both had a go on their little Swegway rollerboard thing, which was a lot of fun. 
and um, now I'm heading home and I'm gonna sign off as well whilst I try and work my way back onto the M25. There's still a little bit of traffic which is annoying, but fingers crossed um, we can make it back in less than an hour. That's the, that's the goal. I hope you've enjoyed today and I suppose this might actually be like the first episode of the Lamborghini Dream. I'm not sure. Um, I'm still not sure, unsure how I'm gonna do it. Maybe I'll just continue doing it in the daily vlogs. So like always, thank you so much for watching and showing your support. Make sure that you subscribe if you're new for the my second supercar coming very, very soon. I am super excited about what happened today. It was really cool um, to meet the guys down there. And overall, um, I think there's going to be some really, really cool content coming very, very soon to Supercars of London. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Look how weird the curved screen is. I mean, that is super cool.